shoulder taps. So Tony and I are having lunch at California Pizza Kitchen the other day, and across from us, I no noticed this elderly woman sit down. She's dressed nicely, and she's at a large table by herself for about five minutes, and then what appears to be her daughter shows up, and I don't recall, two or three grandkids, and they all look spectacular, uh, ready for a nice meal, obviously. And at about that time, a voice in my head starts saying, you need to go tell her how pretty she looks. So I don't even know if we're eating at this point or not, but the food arrives, check arrives. We're going to go down the walkway a little bit in this strip center and look for something. And um, that's the next thing that we're going to move to. So so Tony stands up. I don't tell her any of this. Um, and on my way out, I just kneel down and kind of get into this position where I'm at her level, right, where she's now in her in her chair. And I said, uh, hey, if nobody else has told you yet today, um, I just want you to hear from me how lovely you are. And she looks at me with a look I've never seen before and says, I know you. And I said, no, you, we, we don't know each other. And she said, I know your spirit. And it gets really quiet between us. And she says, my husband died a year ago. And that's something he would have said to me. And at that moment, I can't talk. I can't talk. I'm overcome by emotion. And I just hug her and smile at her through tears. And I leave. But here's what I know, and here's the reason I'm telling you this. I believe that God taps us on the shoulders and uses us at just the right moment. And what I know for sure is that she was blessed and I was enormously blessed. So I've learned in my life to listen to these shoulder taps because they do happen. And I believe the more that we listen to them, the more in alignment we are with God. And that's an awesome place to be. Shoulder taps.